Phone Arena presents the video review of the Sony Ericsson Vivas, which is the company's first uh, smartphone to be capable of recording HD video. It has an 8 megapixel camera with an LED flash and a faster processor with a uh, clock rate of 720 MHz, which allows it to be a good multimedia device. The Vivas has a really compact size, which makes it comfortable to hold. In addition, it has a quite rounded shape, which also adds to that feeling. It looks contemporary and is made entirely of plastic, which is nice to the touch. The sides are quite reflective and look cool. The display of the Vivas is 3.2 inch and has a resolution of 360 by, f by 640 pixels, which is quite nice for that size. It has a 16 million covers, and even though it's not AMOLED, it looks really deep. Its sensitivity is bearable, with seen resistive screens that are uh, better in that uh, respect, but the Vivas is also quite usable. The hardware keys uh, below the screen include a cent and end key, as well as a menu key. On the left you find a 3.5mm jack, as well as a standard micro USB port. On the right there is the volume rocker and a new feature which we really like, you have two keys, one for the camera and another one for the video camera. The manufacturer has added its own theme, which we also saw in the Satio. It divides the home screen into five tabs, the first one is this nicely animated screen, uh, from here you can also quickly access the, the music player, the menu and so on. You have a separate tab for Twitter and another one for your favorite contacts. This one here on the right is uh, for shortcuts uh, that lead to your most frequently used applications, of course, this can be customizable. And lastly, you have a screen uh, for your gallery. As a whole, we like this personalization, but still, it would have been better if there were some, um, for example, customized applications. Speaking of apps, we should know that the, the basic apps like the contacts, uh, calendar, messaging are the, the standard ones for this operating system. One thing we can say about uh, contacts is that there is a handy uh, search option here. Uh, it shows you these letters of only the, the people that you have as entries in the phone book. So this way there can be no unnecessary letters here. In the calendar it is nice that you can uh, quickly create a task or a meeting thanks to these shortcuts here on the front. You can also create some other kinds of, um, of events like anniversary. The built-in browser is the standard for this operating system, it is a WebKit based one, uh, so it uh, does a good job. Unfortunately it lacks kinetic scrolling. Zooming is done by double, uh, double tapping and uh, the same way you zoom out. You have this overview option which uh, lets you quickly jump to a certain uh, part of the page and of course you also have a full screen mode, which is always to be preferred. If you're not happy with this browser, you can always download Opera Mobile or Opera Mini, which are great options. Let us show you, however, how you can watch HD video on the phone. You see that here is the, this really pleasant interface by Sony Ericsson. So we select our video and just watch it. It is in MPEG-4 format. So finally, we can say that the presence of a 720 MHz processor is really obvious. The phone is uh, quite fast, which however is not true in case you have its micro SD card almost full. Its main advantages is that it's uh, quite compact, looks contemporary and has a really great multimedia capabilities. For more information about the Sony Ericsson Vivas and many other phones, you can visit us at phonearena.com.